Hi, this is Justin from Tech 65 and today we are here at the Windows Phone 7.5 launch in Singapore. And here we have here the first few devices available with the Windows Phone 7.5. This is the HTC Radar uh, and this is the Samsung Omnia W with us today. It has, it has the uh, Windows Phone 7.5 already installed and it will be available in Q4 in Singapore. So I'm going to show you some of the, the new features that's integrated into the Windows Phone 7.5. So the first feature I want to show you is the People app has been really upgraded a lot. Okay, first things first, um, I can actually add new groups, right? I actually have groups in fact, right? Instead of just having contacts. So you can actually group your contacts together and do messaging and whatnot. So I'm going to do a test contact here and save, right? And one of the things that you can't really do is go to a contact and add group, get, add the contact to the group directly from there. You have to actually go to the group, then add the contact from the group. So in order to do that, you just add it, add the contact, and you can just add someone there, and that's it, right? So one of the great things about this grouping thing is that you, get, you can actually text the person, the whole entire group, together at the same time or send an email or whatever right and you can also find all the new things you know that the, the group has been doing so you can actually scope down your contacts into into particular groups that you can keep track of that is all of it that's concerned to you so another new feature is within your contact individual contact itself the uh, profile has up been been really souped up a little bit more so two new features in this section which is the, um, you can currently get all your uh, Facebook albums, you know, if you have the connection between the uh, contact and Facebook, right, you can actually get all the Facebook connect, uh, albums from Facebook itself. And another thing that you have with the, within the contact is the history portion. So it actually now it's able to list down the history of all your communication with the individual person. So in here, in the Me application, which is pretty much your own profile, right? Now you can actually, the integration between Facebook is tighter. You can actually check in to Facebook places directly from your Me uh, app. And of course, also integration with notifications from your Facebook. So you get now you get all the notifications from your Facebook uh, account. So another feature is the integrated messaging, where it actually integrates your SMS Mes uh, MSN Messenger and Facebook chat together in one standard uh, interface which is pretty much like a SMS kind of thing right and and when a person when your contact actually transitions between SMS to let's say the messenger he lo locks on to messenger or locks on to Facebook chat it seamlessly just goes through and uh, notifies him or, or sends the message through those chat platforms so if you notice at the bottom in your messaging app, right, there is a speech recognition icon over here which you can just immediately just say, say your message and just go. And it will go to the internet. This, this requires internet connection. So it will go to the internet and actually, you know, just compose the message and figure out what, is, uh, uh, what you said. So another new feature is within the settings, you, have, you can have uh, additional new accounts, right? Over here you can see, Previously, we can have a Windows Live account and a Facebook account, but they added Twitter account and also LinkedIn. So these, so you have a very tight integration between all your different various social network services out there. So once you've added your Facebook account, the, the integration between Facebook has gotten even tighter. So it actually pulls down all the events, Facebook events that you have, you are attending and puts it into your calendar in Windows Phone 7.5. So this is a um, Facebook event and it allows you to see all these different various details of the Facebook event. So another new feature in the Windows Phone 7.5 is the internet tethering. So now finally you can actually tether using your phone. So you go to settings, go to internet sharing and turn it on. All right. However, this is only available on the newer 7.5 devices that will, that will come out, like for example, this HTC Radar and the Samsung Omnia W. Uh, for existing Windows phones, um, this current update will not be available, the internet sharing will not be available, but it will only be available subsequent updates. 
So keep that in mind. So there are more integrations with the Microsoft Office and uh, if you go there, you'll notice that there currently now, finally, there is integration with the SkyDrive. So now you can actually view your files on SkyDrive. I'm not going to view his files over here on SkyDrive, but another feature that you can see is the integration with Office 365, which was launched earlier this year. So, you, you know, those people who are use, utilizing Office 365, fantastic. Now you can access all your documents and whatever that you have on Office 365. Hey, there's something very nice about, uh, very interesting about the Xbox Live that's, you know, one of the small little features which is pretty fun, which has to do with your avatar. So look at the avatar over here. If you shake the avatar, or rather your phone, okay, one time it'll start dancing, yeah? If you shake it another time, it will do another dance, right? And uh, if you shake one more time, it will fall. And uh, let's wait for it to get up, right? And it just cracks your screen like, just like that. Interesting, isn't it? All right, I'm really tired because there are so many features with the Windows Phone 7.5. But here's another very interesting new feature, which is the Bing Vision. All right, so if we have a newspaper, like uh, this is the Today newspaper. Is it the Today newspaper? Yes, it is the Today newspaper. And if you see a, you know, a code like this over here, right? What you can do is press the search button Right? Load up Bing Vision and uh, you see there's an eye over here, right? So click on the eye and all you need to do with your Windows Phone 7, just hover over it and you should be able to see something like this over here, a Microsoft tag. And it will redirect you to the link immediately. Just click on it and redirect you to it. And in this case, it's a YouTube link. And all you need to do is just quickly just play it and voila, you've got the content playing for you. Well, another new feature with the uh, Windows Phone 7 is 7.5 Mango release is the uh, maps, All right? So finally, another new feature that's really, really useful is now you can actually get directions. So by default, it will start at my location, but you can actually change that if you really, really want. All right, let's say, you know, uh, um, something like that. All right, somewhere here. Okay. And uh, let's go to, uh, I don't know, let's say somewhere else. Um, I don't know, like, all right. And let's just do a search there. All right, so it, it we're able to uh, search the directions and oh wow, it directed me to China, but that's, that's perfectly fine. It'll give me directions and it's pretty useful and it hasn't been uh, in the 7.0 7 release and it's a really, really great feature to have. Another feature within the maps is called the Local Scout, which is this button over here, okay? So when you click on it, you can actually get what's nearby you, you know, like eating and drinking, seeing and doing, and so on and so forth. Very useful if you are a tourist and you don't really know, or even if you just want to find something where, where to go and whatnot. Um, however, in Singapore, Local Scout is not available yet. Uh, we hope to see it very soon, but as of now in Singapore, sorry, we don't have that. So now finally IE9 is in the Windows Phone 7.5. So I clicked on that and we're, we're just going to take a look at, you know, um, the HTML5 test that we at Tech65 always go to to figure out whether, if, you know, the HTML5 uh, compatibility is great or not. So let's wait for it to load and see what the actu actual score is. All right, so the actual score is 141. Great improvement from the previous version, which only got like less than eight or something. I don't really know, but it's a very, very low number. Huge improvement, 141 for HTML5 support. Great stuff. So one of the new features, and yes, I have a new phone over here. It's the old phone actually, um, is that you, there is multitasking. And it's not so much multitasking, but multi-switching of applications, you know. So if you press and hold the back button, you can actually quickly switch to your other applications. Great, great for, for you know, like quickly just going to a different application and just going there immediately. Another new feature, which is a long-awaited feature, is that let's say, for example, if you have a lot of applications, right? And this will only happen if you have more than 25 applications. It's, it starts to sort according to the alphabetical order. And when you click on the alphabets, you can quickly just 
switch to the the application based on the first letter of the application alphabet not only that you can also click on the search that's something very new that you can quickly just search for a particular application let's say for example messaging right and you can just quickly go there all right we've only shown you the cream of what the 500 over features on the windows phone 7.5 just some of, of, of the features i'm really very exhausted and just going through all those features available but great stuff with the Windows Phone 7.5. However, does it, is it enough for the Windows Phone 7.5 to actually be good enough, right? So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.